Premier Stephenson, am I correct, is ready to join us live now. Uh, Premier, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, can hear you. I think she can hear. Hi, hi, Premier Stephenson. Good to have you with us. Thank you for making the time. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I, I wanted to start off and ask you, I think you said the way you described it was a little bit disappointing. I know that you probably didn't anticipate $28 billion a year on the table, but, but was this yeah. far away from what you had guessed would be there? Yeah, I think, you know, today we went in with an open mind. We all did and, and just uh, wanted to see what they had and what we're putting on the table. Um, obviously, it is uh, an, an increase, and so we welcome any kind of increase to our, our health care budgets. Uh, but it was uh, significantly less, obviously, than, than we thought and, and a little disappointing, I must say. And was that conveyed to the Prime Minister in the room when he made the presentation? Well, I think what it was is, I think, you know, during the presentation, uh, we were uh, given the presentation and we had questions that we wanted to ask after. There wasn't really a lot of time for deliberation, but we did know that we were going away after that to have discussions as the Council of Federation, um, which we are going to do. We've had a chance to sort of uh, digest a little bit of it, but we really have to go back to our jurisdictions and see what does this really mean for us in our areas. Uh, just, just to ask you bluntly, was there a back and forth between the premiers and the prime minister, or was it just a presentation by the prime minister? Yeah, no, it was a presentation, and we did have we had questions. And uh, listen, I want to say that I, you know, I do commend the the prime minister to, uh, for finally, you know, calling a first minister's meeting. It was very important to sit around that table and have this discussion, and I think that's a very positive thing. And I hope to have many more of those uh, going forward. But I guess now is really, I mean, again, we they uh, were able to look at our. Um, proposal for two and a half years, but we are really, we, we saw it for two and a half hours. So, so really, you know, we need time to digest this and see what does it really mean for each of us in our jurisdictions. And I take the point that you'll need some time to digest it, but on face value, when you look at it now, how far away is it from what you hope to end up with? Well, obviously, we had asked, with, you know, for the 28 billion again, right into the uh, the base funding in in year one with an escalator, and so really getting them up to the 35 percent. Uh, but it's significantly less than that. But again, it's a step in the right direction. It was a step in the right direction to be able to sit down and have this conversation. I think Canadians expect us to do that, so that's a positive thing. Uh, but I also think, you know, uh, Canadians want to make sure that we have long-term sustainable funding. Uh, now we'll see what, what this looks like. It is, again, I think a step in the right direction, um, but it is significantly less, I think, that, than many of us were, were thinking. So I heard you and your colleagues in the, in the press conference there saying that you're going to take it back, figure out what it means for, for people in your province, but also meet as the Council of the Federation, all, all premiers together to essentially do what? So we're going to take, take it back and just see what it means to each of us in our jurisdictions. There's, there's a number of details uh, that we weren't able to get into today, obviously, in just the two and a half hours or two hours that we had in the meeting and, uh, and since then. Uh, so I think it's really important that we take that time, we do that, and then we sit down. I'm, I'm talking just, just days from now, not, not weeks or months. Uh, we recognize that this is, is going to be in the, the federal budget. We want to ensure that we can come to some sort of a, a conclusion on this. I think Canadians want us to. We still would like to. Uh, so we'll continue to have those discussions at the Council of Federation and see what comes out of that. The Prime Minister presented it as a proposal, but as you just said yourself, this is anticipated to be booked into the federal budget. Are your hands kind of tied? Like, how much can you actually push back? Because the impression I think Canadians have is not much. Well, I mean, the Prime Minister did say that he didn't expect a deal to be made between the provinces and, and the federal government on this very important issue today. Uh, so he is expecting us to go off and to have discussions among ourselves as, as the Council of Federation. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Did he signal, though, in his proposal and his conversations with you and your colleagues today, that he was open to a counter offer, that he was open to putting more money beyond what he spelled out in this proposal on the table? I think what he said is that he didn't expect a deal to be signed or, or a deal to be solidified today. 
Um, he recognizes that we need time to digest this and to take this back and, and have discussions. And so, um, you know, to me, that means he knows we're going to go away and have these discussions and we will have a response to that. Do you anticipate that the Prime Minister and the federal government are willing to put more money than they've offered today on the table? Well, I think that's what you'll have to ask them. Um, I think that, you know, this money, I know for Manitoba, it means about a 2%. Um, it's 2% of, of our overall budget. And so that's uh, significantly less than what we're looking for, I think, uh, across the country. Uh, so we're going to have to, again, look into what some of the details are associated with that. Uh, of course, there's uh, the Canada Health Transfer side of it. There's also the bilateral side of it. So we'll have to look at what's the framework around the bilateral. Um, there's lots of uh, unanswered questions. We just simply didn't have a lot of time to get into those today. So we're hoping to be able to have um, conversations either with officials or, or the Prime Minister himself moving forward to ensure um, that we do what, what really is in the best interest of Canadians. This is you know, one of the most important issues that faces uh, our country right now is, is health care. And uh, I think, again, a good first step to be able to sit down and have that discussion today. But still more work to be done. I just want to, you mentioned Canadians, and, and I know so many of them are watching this, anxious about their own health care systems and, and their own experiences with them. And I just want to try and get at how close a new arrangement is, because ultimately at the end of the day, uh, you know, it's, it's to arrive at better outcomes for Canadians. Are you, uh, you know, can, can you be clear about where you, and I, and, I, and I know you just received this, but based on the, again, the face value of it, are you willing to walk away if this is the best case offer? Well, I think what it is, is it's a step in the right direction. We'll sit down and have those discussions, and I will with my counterparts uh, across the country. Uh, again, we want to look into the details. What does it mean? We have other questions that we have uh, for the federal government uh, surrounding this. Um, again, the Prime Minister didn't expect to uh, have an agreement today. Neither did we. Um, this is the start of a, a discussion. And so we'll continue to have those discussions and move forward. You had said, though, that you thought an, a deal could be arrived at in short order, I believe I heard you say over the past few days. Do you still think that's true? Well, again, I, we're going to take some time as a Council of Federation and sit down. I mean, sooner rather than later. I said days, not weeks ahead. Um, we want to make sure that we have those discussions around that table. Uh, we do have to come away from this today, though, and digest some of the information that we received. Look at each of our ju jurisdictions. What's, what does it mean? Where are the commonalities across the Council of Federation? And then look at, uh, you know, reaching out to the federal government and, you know, uh, and having those discussions. But, but surely you knew what you expected and you now know what's on the table. You, you can tell people watching if you think, you know, there, there could be somewhere to meet in the middle in short order. Like, do you still think this is possible sooner rather than later? Uh, well, we do know that the federal budget is coming down soon. Um, they have put some, you know, some money on the table for us. That is a step in the right direction. Uh, again, we'll have, it's not as much as we had, had hoped for, obviously. Uh, but we need to sit down and what does it mean uh, in terms of, you know, strings attached or not. I mean, there's all sorts of uh, different aspects of, uh, of the discussions that need to take place and the, and the questions that need to be answered. So, again, we'll take this away. I think it's reasonable. Canadians would expect us to take this away um, and take the necessary time to, to get this right. And, uh, and then we'll okay, look at, at reaching out to the, to the federal government from there. Sorry, sorry for the interruption. I apologize. Thank you very much for making the time for us this evening. Appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks so much, Vashti. Take care.